Rendell flicking it on towards Adebowale. He's been a makeshift striker for every set piece so far. Joe Newton trying to keep it alive from the right hand side. Back into Adebowale. He'll hook a shot towards oh, goal one and find the back of the net. It's Manny Adebowale, the centre back, that hooks on to a long pass from Joe Newton and fires the ball into the bottom left hand corner when he's been a nuisance all day. Looking for a potential throw. Thrown into the feet of Jake Gray, or should I say the head of Jake Gray, flicked on by Fisher. Slew might work his way into the box. Slew bringing under control, trying to shift onto his right foot, forces a shot, oh, no and finish. finding the inside corner. Well, Slew, after not threatening all game, cut the ball onto his right foot, fired it in at the near post, and despite a good hand from Was Warner, Hampton and Richmond have their equaliser, Les. Jake might allow Fisher to get in. Fisher burning down on goal. Out comes Warner. That's Warner takes no, out Fisher, no and it's a penalty. Well, it was a horrendous mistake from the Hawks at the back. It allowed Fisher to get in. Fisher drove me. through on goal. Card, and yep. Warner slid out and took out Fisher, bursting through on the left-hand side. It will be a penalty. It'll be Slew versus Warner with a chance to take the lead for the Beavers. Slew steps up. Right foot effort. He skies it. it. He skied it. Jerome Slew, who scored the goal in the first half, slashes this one and spoons it high and right. Billy Clifford drives one towards the penalty area. Rising oh, what a sight! Fantastic save by Yes! But Alex Wall tucks it home. Wall at the back post, firing home from short range. It's late, but it's great. Having a Waterlooville take the lead and the fans spill out onto the pitch there in front of the away stand. Having a Waterlooville two, Hampton and Richmond one.